what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk today about laurie strode or not not laurie strode judith myers possibly being alive and well now this has been tossed around recently i've seen it trending seen it on the halloween movies reddit seen it on halloween forums seen it on halloween facebook groups that i'm a part of this idea that what if judith myers was alive this whole time and she essentially faked her death she pulled halloween h2o before Lori strode her younger sister ever got a chance to now if that's the case that's awful because that just deteriorates everything we've come to know and and love and be so terrified of when it comes to michael myers in my honest opinion i just don't like that idea maybe if they had done it earlier in the franchise sure but not when or actually even if they did it in the original film not when you like maybe in the in the original film if that had been a plot twist of some sort he broke out specifically because he found out that his older sister judith was still alive and he went to haddonfield looking for her to go finish her off that could have been a nice plot twist for the 1978 original movie finding out now that she is alive and well no absolutely not uh, i feel like that's a big cop out and a very big backpedal to everything that we've come to know and love about the about the franchise and everything that's been taught to us and stuff has been embedded in our head for so long judith myers is his first victim judith myers is what is what started all of this judith, the the killing of judith myers is what led to his admission to smith's grove so all of these things that led to dr loomis being involved in coming up with all these different opinions regarding the character of michael myers and how he never wanted to let him out because he all he saw in him was purely and simply evil that evil still is there yes but now it's kind of diminished knowing that he didn't successfully kill his sister his sister was just fatally stabbed and for some reason they contrived a fake burial and a fake tombstone they went all out for her for that Abs yeah i'm not i'm not with that at all not so far in the game like this maybe like i said before back in the original film had we had found out at some point why he actually was in haddonfield uh from like a spectator or michael or dr loomis himself maybe finding out in the end he came back to he came back to town not to go after Lori Strode and her friends he just got distracted he actually came back there because he let's say he found out that judith myers while he was in smith's grove he found out that judith myers was still alive and then that ultimately could have led to us finding out what he actually had against her why he stabbed her that night yada 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 that's when i think something like that could have been effective finding out that judith myers was alive and well not not now not now because it's been too long uh that death that opening of the 1978 original is embedded in the pop culture uh the pop culture consciousness and it's just very it's a very famous opening kill and to now have that kind of it's still an opening kill but now the mystique of it has been shortened by multiple percentages because of the fact that the victim in this opening kill they aren't even a they're they're not necessarily the same victim they were before they now we know that they survived their wounds and this of course would be something that people are talking about they'd like to see happen in halloween kills and i'm just like why would you want to see that maybe some people are just that bored with the franchise that they're trying to think of all of these unnecessary reasons to keep it going or these un un uh unique ways to add new spins on it finding out that judith myers is alive at this at this stage in the game after so many sequels after nearly 50 years almost passing by in the next coming years nearly 50 years since the original movie i feel i feel like that would be completely ridiculous we could find out something about how she didn't die instantly maybe she died in a hospital shortly after her stab wounds maybe she didn't die instantly she just bled out and then she got taken to the hospital maybe she died there but finding out that she is alive absolutely not i'm not here for it i'm not i'm not wanting to see that because then that's going to open up a whole nother can of worms in regards to all these other people that you could say are possibly alive such as uh annie perhaps maybe her throat wasn't completely perhaps the way he slit her throat wasn't as fatal as we thought it was or like you'll just have all these other different theories start to pop up man i'm just not 
I'm not here for it. That's that's seeing that theory that Judith Myers is alive. That's one of the very first I've ever seen of that. I haven't seen anything like that before up until this year. So that tells you how much people have become attached to the idea that her character is dead. But I do appreciate somebody actually thinking outside of the box and coming up with something that is their own. Uh, and you guys jumping on the bandwagon with it. This idea that Judith Myers might be alive and well and kicking it somewhere in like a secret service similar to how her sister was per the h2o timeline of course they're not sisters anymore in this new timeline uh she was doing the the h2o lord strode gig before lord strode was even doing it <laughs> she was lord strode's inspiration that'd be another plot twist a along with us finding out she's alive she was the one who told lord strode to go into hiding in Halloween h2o <laughs> uh, i just find that to be very ridiculous the character of Judith Myers is a very crucial aspect of why Michael Myers or why we think of Michael Myers the way that we do because he was a six-year-old child that murdered his sister. You kind of take that away a bit. Some of that some of that uh, questioning you have of his of his of him as a character, you take some of that away when you find out that oh he didn't he didn't kill his sister. She just she just was fatally stabbed and the the Myers family covered up her death. They faked it and the whole town was in on it. Like come on now, she has a burial site. She has a tombstone. That's that's a little ridiculous. This isn't it's not it's not the time and place for something like that i can appreciate the inspiration and your passion for wanting to see a shocking plot to us because that be that would be very shocking that would floor me to like the 110th degree because now i'm gonna try to see how if they actually did that if they actually did that i would be highly interested and curious to see if they could actually make that work because then on top of that, not only do I find this theory to be absolutely ridiculous, but if the filmmakers could actually make it work somehow and get me on board with them, I'd say I'd give you a round of applause. I'd want to meet up with you and have dinner. I'd want to pay your bills for the next 10 months or 10 years <laughs> because Judith Myers being alive, that's not something I'll ever see happening. That's not something I could ever accept. However, if you were to do that and somehow make it work and get me to believe it, I'll you'll be I'll be in debt to you because you you have constructed a story and a narrative that is very thought provoking something that makes an, a whole lot of sense which I don't know how that could make a whole lot of sense you have to be thinking really outside of the box you have to do a lot of twists and turns possibly you have to be retconning certain things as well in the narrative but let's just say somehow David Gordon Green and Danny McBride if I'm sure they're not doing this this is just again a theory if they did manage to make that work, I'd be in debt to them. I'd honestly want to meet up with these gentlemen and shake their hand because somehow they did that. If you can convince me somehow that Judith Myers was alive this whole time and Michael Myers didn't necessarily kill her and the whole town was in on her death being faked and she just got moved into the witness protection program somehow, some way, shape, form or fashion. That's just if you can construct a narrative that would make me a believer, I'll be in debt to you because I just don't see it happening. Judith Myers, I, again, appreciate the inspiration you guys have. Some of you guys who are on, on the bandwagon with this and you would like to see this happen. I appreciate the inspiration and the passion towards it. Ultimately, though, I feel like if we find out her character is alive. It would diminish some of the things we've come to know about the character of Michael Myers. It'll diminish the legacy, sort of. Not, the, not necessarily the legacy of the whole entire 1978 original movie, but it would diminish certain aspects of it for some people upon rewatching it now, because now you know the new truth. You have a new truth to you that you know for a fact was never going to be that truth from the beginning. There comes a time and a place where you can't accept everything that's thrown at you in franchises because you know for a fact that that was not the plan from the beginning, from the get-go. But that's almost half of the Halloween sequels because half of these sequels were not the plan from the get-go. The plan from the get-go was to do a one-and-done, a simple narrative of a criminally insane mental patient who returns to his hometown one night to kill again. But Judith Myers being alive, nope, not with it. I don't know what you guys would be thinking about something like that. You can let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me guys let me know what you guys think about Halloween Kills. When do you think we'll end up seeing it? Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.